Earth is brimming with life, almost everywhere you look, plants and creatures of one form or another call our little blue ball home. Scientists find microbes, microscopic life, even in places with the harshest conditions. We tend to take Earth's suitability for life for granted. We might think that, with all its beauty and diversity, our planet must be the best anywhere for life. Or is it? Before we start, if you like this kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel. A study from researchers at Washington State University, announced makes the case that there may well be planets out there that have conditions even more favorable for life than our own. Out of the over 4,000 currently known exoplanets, the researchers also narrowed those down to 24 candidate superhabitable planets that could be even better suited to life than Earth. The new peer-reviewed paper that explains their reasoning was published in the journal Astrobiology on September 18, 2020. As the paper summarized, the fact that Earth is teeming with life makes it appear odd to ask whether there could be other planets in our galaxy that may be even more suitable for life. Neglecting this possible class of superhabitable planets, however, could be considered anthropocentric and geocentric biases. Most important from the perspective of an observer searching for extrasolar life is that such a search might be executed most effectively with a focus on superhabitable planets instead of Earth-like planets. We argue that there could be regions of astrophysical parameter space of star planet systems that could allow for planets to be even better for life than our Earth. We aim to identify those parameters and their optimal ranges, some of which are astrophysically motivated, whereas others are based on the varying habitability of the natural history of our planet. Some of these conditions are far from being observationally testable on planets outside the solar system. Still, we can distill a short list of 24 top contenders among the greater than 4,000 exoplanets known today that could be candidates for a superhabitable planet. In fact, we argue that, with regard to the search for extrasolar life, potentially superhabitable planets may deserve higher priority for follow-up observations than most Earth-like planets. The new study was led by scientist Dirk Scholz-Makuch, who said in a statement, it's sometimes difficult to convey this principle of superhabitable planets because we think we have the best planet. We have a great number of complex and diverse life forms, and many that can survive in extreme environments. It is good to have adaptable life, but that doesn't mean that we have the best of everything. According to the study, such planets would be older, a little larger, slightly warmer, and possibly wetter than Earth. It also helps if they orbit stars older than the Sun, with longer lifespans. Our sun's lifetime is estimated to be 10 billion years, and it took about 4 billion of those years before any complex life evolved on Earth. But some other stars can live much longer, giving life more time to evolve. So how did the researchers come to these conclusions, and how did they decide upon these 24 best candidates? Scholz Makuch, along with astronomers René Heller of the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research and Edward Guinan of Villanova University, started with planet star systems where rocky terrestrial type planets orbit within the habitable zone, the region around a star where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. They selected these from the Kepler Objects of Interest Exoplanet Archive of Transiting Exoplanets. Many of these stars are G-stars, similar to our Sun, with similar lifetimes, so the researchers also looked at K-stars, orange-red dwarfs, which are cooler, less massive, and less luminous. That may not sound as ideal for life as Sun-like stars, but they have one big advantage, their lifetimes are anywhere from 20 billion to 70 billion years. If life started on a planet orbiting a K-dwarf star, it would have much more time to evolve than life on Earth has so far. Older planets, therefore, are better, but they shouldn't be too old either. Eventually, they will have exhausted their interior geothermal heat and lose their protective geomagnetic fields. What is the ideal age, then? The researchers say that sweet spot age for a planet is about 5 billion to 8 billion years old. Our Earth is still only 4.5 billion years old. What are other factors that would make a planet superhabitable? According to the researchers, the planet should be a bit larger than Earth. Around 10% is good. Such worlds should have more habitable land area. Also, if a planet was about 1.5 times as massive as Earth, radioactive decay in the planet's interior would last longer to provide heat, and the stronger gravity would help the planet to retain its atmosphere longer. What about water? All life on Earth needs water to survive. 
planet's a bit warmer than Earth, with more moisture and a mean surface temperature of about 8 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, greater than Earth, could be more habitable as well. Even on Earth, there is more diversity of life in warmer and wetter tropical rainforests than in other areas. Although the researchers have tentatively identified 24 best candidates so far, there may be many more out there, since scientists now estimate that there are billions of planets in our galaxy alone. Many of those are super-Earths, planets larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. Some of those would have an ideal size and mass to be a superhabitable world. How many of them could actually be habitable or even superhabitable? Only further studies will help to answer that question, and the newest upcoming space telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, will be able to analyze the atmospheres of some of these worlds, and search for potential biosignatures. Scholz Makuch said, with the next space telescopes coming up, we will get more information, so it is important to select some targets. We have to focus on certain planets that have the most promising conditions for complex life. However, we have to be careful to not get stuck looking for a second Earth because there could be planets that might be more suitable for life than ours. The next few years will be an exciting time for exoplanet research. Each discovery brings us closer to, hopefully, finding the first evidence of life outside our solar system. The diversity of life on just our Earth alone is astonishing. If there are indeed superhabitable worlds out there, the kinds of life that may exist may be only limited by our imagination. Just because Earth is the only place known to harbor life doesn't mean it's the best planet for the job. Somewhere out there in the universe, another orbiting object might be better positioned to support life, and it might not look like our own. We have to focus on certain planets that have the most promising conditions for complex life, says astrobiologist Dirk scholz from Washington State University. However, we have to be careful to not get stuck looking for a second Earth because there could be planets that might be more suitable for life than ours. If we're too focused on finding another planet just like Earth, we might fail to notice one that is not only older, larger, warmer, and wetter, but also orbits a star with a longer lifespan than our Sun. Astronomers have been discussing the idea of a superhabitable planet for years, and now, we might have our first few candidates. Among the thousands of exoplanets beyond our solar system, Scholz Makuch and his colleagues have identified two dozen that appear to be more hospitable than Earth in at least one respect. While none of these planets fulfill the full criteria for a superhabitable home, one of them does tick four key boxes, which suggests it might provide better and longer conditions for life than here on Earth. Still, the point of the study is not to identify a planet B. Many of these planets are thousands of light years away and haven't yet been statistically validated, which means they could turn out to be astrophysical false positives. Even the planets that are confirmed are too far away to be practical destinations for further research. Especially when we've recently found potentially habitable exoplanets, similar to the size of Earth, just 124 light years away. Our point here is not to identify potential targets for follow-up observations but to illustrate that superhabitable worlds may already be among the planets that have been detected, the authors write. A larger planet than Earth, for instance, may allow for more habitable land and greater diversity. The size of a planet also impacts its gravitational pull, and a bigger one than Earth could retain its atmosphere for longer. Water is of course a key component of life as we know it, and even in Earth's own history, we know that when there is greater humidity, life tends to thrive. The Carboniferous period, which was warmer and wetter than today, produced so much biomass we are still harvesting coal, oil, and natural gas from it today. It's sometimes difficult to convey this principle of superhabitable planets because we think we have the best planet, says Scholz Makuch. We have a great number of complex and diverse life forms, and many that can survive in extreme environments. It is good to have adaptable life, but that doesn't mean that we have the best of everything. One thing our planet doesn't have the best of is time. It took roughly 3.5 billion years for macroscopic life to appear on Earth and in another 5 billion years or so, our sun will burn out. Other stars with masses similar to our own could run out of energy long before complex life develops, while those stars with lower masses, like orange dwarf stars, can last much longer. Orange dwarf stars are somewhat cooler than those like our Sun, but they can sometimes burn for up to 70 billion years. This astonishing amount of time may allow inhabited planets to build up higher biodiversity and more complex ecosystems than our own planet, which has only existed for roughly 4.5 billion years. 
Of course, all of this is assuming that the life we are looking for out there is the same as what we know here on Earth. And that might not be the case at all. Still, we have to work with something, and in this case, Earth is the only example we have. Among the 24 superhabitable candidates, astronomers say they identified 9 orbiting around K stars, 16 planets between 5 and 8 billion years old, deemed the sweet spot for complex life, and 5 planets in the optimal temperature range for a superhabitable planet, roughly 19 degrees Celsius. All of these exoplanets were located in the habitable zone around their star, the region where water could exist. Only one of the candidates fit all four criteria, an exoplanet called KOI 5715.01 about 1.8 times larger than Earth and located roughly 3,000 light-years away. That may not seem like much, but in the search for life outside our solar system, the authors think the possibility of a superhabitable planet with conditions even better than our own may deserve higher priority for follow-up observations than most Earth-like planets. With the next space telescopes coming up, we will get more information, so it is important to select some targets, says Scholz Makuch. Not all of them need to resemble our own planet. The study was published in Astrobiology. Thanks for watching. You can write your thoughts about the video in the comments, and subscribe to my channel.